On the one hand, the world of technology and artificial intelligence is expanding, while the world of people without jobs is expanding. On the other side, the world of those who are currently without jobs is also beginning to present itself. At the same time, both of these environments show signs of growth and potential expansion. In the future, the two worlds are going to compete with one another for employment opportunities, and from a business point of view, artificial intelligence is going to be the most popular option for businesses to choose from. Since the beginning of historical records, the percentage of people without jobs has been steadily increasing all over the world. We need your support to consistently upload videos, so we would greatly appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up and like this video. Every region of the world has observed this trend. This pattern has continued uninterruptedly until the present day. The media in every region of the world, notably in countries like India, has shown significant interest in this pattern, particularly through television. Numerous other countries have also demonstrated this focus. One school of thought maintains that governments are to blame for the limited number of employment opportunities that they generate. We cannot ignore the harsh reality that the situation will only worsen from this point forward. There's no avoiding this. Number 4. The Current Unemployment Rate Demystified This article discusses the current unemployment rate in the United States and provides information about the situation. At the moment, there is an unprecedented number of graduates and postgraduates who are unable to find work outside of their respective fields. This predicament has been going on for a pretty considerable amount of time. Undoubtedly, a greater number of individuals are pursuing higher education than in the past. However, it also faced significant challenges in securing career opportunities. This phenomenon persists despite the undeniable increase in the number of individuals pursuing higher education. There is a sizable population of people who have the expectation that the government will offer them several employment opportunities to choose from within the workforce. Because of the increasing prevalence of automation, the number of jobs that require human labor has decreased. This is due to the fact that automation is becoming more widespread. Reports regularly highlight the high unemployment rate in India. This is because the media is a good source of information. This is because India's unemployment rate is extremely high. Despite the fact that most of them blame the government, they fail to consider how technological advancements could exacerbate the problem. Number 3. Why more professionals will lose jobs in the coming years? In the years to come, one of the factors that will contribute to a rise in the number of professionals who are currently without work. Who will be responsible for this increase? I am curious as to whether you would choose to hire a person or a brilliant artificial intelligence that is low-cost, low-maintenance, and powerful when it comes to providing assistance. I would like to hear your preference. I am interested in learning what your preference is. If presented with a choice, I think you would opt for the option that utilizes artificial intelligence. In the near future, nearly all employers and businesses will have access to this choice. Technological advancements in the not-too-distant future will gradually render many of the jobs we currently take for granted obsolete. This category of vocations includes people working in customer service, data entry, banking, receptionists, software programmers, and even medical professionals. This is a phenomenon that will undoubtedly unfold over time. It has already started to establish a reputation for itself within the industry by providing improved software tools for programmers and improved diagnostic tools for medical experts. Artificial intelligence has already proven successful in achieving this kind of goal. A number of different tools can assist in successfully translating code from one language to another. On the other hand, there exists application programming interface models capable of diagnosing problems in eye scans that are challenging for a human to identify. These models are capable of identifying such problems. These models achieve this by identifying patterns within the data. Number 2. The world is changing too fast. The world is currently experiencing an overwhelming number of unrelated events at the same time. Because it's happening at such a rapid pace, the rate at which abilities are becoming obsolete in today's environment is a cause for concern. If you are a coder, it's quite likely that you would agree with what I have to say. I have offered some suggestions that you might find interesting. Despite the fact that you have acquired a skill that is currently in demand after a few years, this expertise will become irrelevant and no longer relevant to your life. Life today is significantly easier to manage than it was several decades ago. To have a nice life, you need to put in a lot of effort in school, secure acceptance into a prestigious university, and pursue a satisfying career. These are all things that you need to accomplish in order to have a nice life. As soon as you have achieved this goal, everything else in your life will fall into place seamlessly. Obtaining an education was the first step on the ladder to success. In this day and age of artificial intelligence, which is always expanding, having a higher degree does not ensure a steady employment situation. This is especially relevant in the field of artificial intelligence. If you want to keep your current position and advance in your career, it is absolutely necessary for you to continue to learn new skills even when you have a job that is more secure than ever before. 
This is also true if, on the other hand, you are enthusiastic about advancing in your professional life. Considering the conditions in which we find ourselves is of the utmost necessity that we acquire new abilities at a rapid pace. In light of the current circumstances, it is essential for individuals to acquire new skills that have a greater potential for creative expression, as this will enhance not only their own abilities but also their profession and ultimately their lives. Having this knowledge is essential in order for them to make progress in every facet of their lives. Number 1. What should you learn? Which one of the following is something that you ought to put some effort into learning about? As a result of the lightning-fast pace at which artificial intelligence is developing, it is abundantly evident that talents that are comparable to those of humans will continue to be in high demand to a substantial degree. Because we are human beings and do not have to compete with artificial intelligence, we are unable to emerge victorious from this war. This is because we are unable to compete with artificial intelligence. To improve our own capabilities, we must learn about tasks that artificial intelligence cannot perform. This will allow us to increase our own skills. There is a rapid revolution that we are currently experiencing and traditional educational institutions, such as schools and universities, are unable to adapt to this transformation effectively. We find ourselves in this specific situation right now. It is quite possible that the vast majority of creative professions will continue to be in high demand for the foreseeable future, regardless of the circumstances that may be present. This decade will see a significant rise in the demand for skills such as critical thinking, managing people, effective communication, teaching, and the capacity to effectively work with others. These are just some of the skills that will be in high demand. Furthermore, an increase in the demand for these skills and abilities will follow. Every region of the world has observed this trend. This pattern has continued uninterruptedly until the present day. The media in every region of the world, notably in countries like India, has shown significant interest in this pattern, particularly through television. Numerous other countries have also demonstrated this focus. One school of thought maintains that governments are to blame for the limited number of employment opportunities that they generate. This particular school of thought holds a particular perspective. We cannot ignore the harsh reality that the situation will only worsen from this point forward. There's no avoiding this. We truly value your presence and want you to know that. We would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel using your YouTube account and give it a like. Thank you in advance for your consideration.